Hello YouTube and welcome to another review. Um, this time we have three um, British flag bearers um, from the French and Indian War by William Britton's Glossarange. Um, this is the French and Indian War. Um, these are single purchases which you can pick up quite easily um, around about £24, probably a little bit less. Um, the yellow flag bearer in the middle is probably the rarest one. I can never really see that much on the internet so just a bit of heads up there um, but I'll identify the flags um, from left to right now so on the left we have the British ensign of the first foot guards 1754 to 1763 um, in the middle we have the British 35th regiment of foot and that's its regimental colour 1754 to 1760 and on the end we have the ensign of the first foot guards and same date period and that's the French and Indian War as well um, so obviously the centre regiment is the giveaway with his black gaiters um, I just like to say these ones are really good. I do like them. Um, it's a simple mould, um, which I think whoever sort of thought of doing it that way was um, pretty clever, to say the least. Um, it's quite a simple mould to do, I guess, for them. And um, the weighting then provides quite a stable platform because all the weight is just held central to the base. So um, quite a good design. Um, in terms like I say pricing I, I think it varies I can go on the internet and probably find them for about 20 odd pounds um, but they are becoming rarer as we go there's no doubt about that a um, little bit I'll, I'll try and add in on each one different bits of information I know on the gaiters here above the knee you'll see this black line well the extra piece up here is like a knee protector and that's leather um, and that was just strapped around there but that was just basically to protect their knees um, in terms of um, regimental dress um, depending on the regiment you'll see he has got his yellow cuffs um, which identify him as the 35th of foot um, these two are obviously from the same regiment um, and that's your basic identification um, in terms of equipment as I've said before um, it was genuinely up to the officers and that would go right up to almost the revolution um, when um, I think it was 1788 they started to really sort of think this is how it's got to be um, but you pretty much had carte blanche over what sort of equipment you would have it would just come down to money really at the end of the day tricorn cats uh, uh cap sorry um gold braiding and silver braiding on this regiment here um in terms of detail and there is a slight rosette on the side but that has not been painted in the detail um so aside from that um pretty much a standard quality of the range which is excellent um, and if I just I'll maybe show you this guy let's just have a little look at him from the back before my battery runs out but there's his red sash uh, that normally comes with NCOs um, but nice detail very nice detail you can see they've really gone the extra mile with these and it's worth it it is worth it uh, this one I wanted to show there was some reason but I can't remember what it was just the detailing you can see just there they've put a nice little beginnings of the crest of the regiment on there but all in all, a very, very good flag bearer. And like I say, with these, it's all the same mould. Um, they haven't um, gone to any great lengths, um, but it more than does the job. And I've been very happy with this set. So 
if you see it snap it up um, it does look good when they're all on display so thank you for watching and we'll see you soon